Welcome to the Philippines and the first leg of our country's hosting of the 2015 APEC. Please allow me to begin by enjoining everyone to join our people in prayer as our countrymen in the Visayas and Mindanao region and the Bicol region feeling the effects of Typhoon Ruby as of this moment. Our thoughts and prayers go to them and to the men and women who have been mobilized to ensure their safety. It was the, with this typhoon in mind that we decided last week to move the venue of this informal seniors officials meeting from the province of Albay to Metro Manila. We would have preferred to hold this meeting in the shadows of one of the country's most majestic sites, the Mayon Volcano. But we believe it was more prudent for the local government of Albay International, which is a province uh, internationally recognized for its accomplishments in disaster risk reduction and management, to focus more on the preventive actions they would have done or needed to do to undertake and undertake the uh, um, relief and op uh, rescue operations in the wake of the typhoon. Nonetheless, we thank Albay's tireless governor, Governor Joey Salceda, as well as the local government officials of Legaspe City for all the work they put to prepare for the ISOM. I am sure that had you, soon, had you seen the city and what they had in store for you, that you would have been very impressed. As they say in Bicol, Dios mabalos sa Indo Gabos, or thank you very much. Though there are dark skies overhead and the rest of the country, these stand in stark contrast to the bright prospects of APEC and its 21 member countries. This is due in part to the chairman chairmanship of our previous host, the People's Republic of China. Under China's, China's ch chairmanship, the APEC's strategic le relevance in the region has been advanced as embodied in the 2014 APEC Leaders Declaration. And we shall strive to build on these gains in our hosting year. It has almost been two decades since we last hosted the APEC in 1996. We have come a long way since, and this is something that we hope to display in the coming months as we hold the various APEC event meetings leading to the APEC Economic Leaders Meeting in November of 2015. As our president, his Excellency Benigno Aquino III announced last week, our theme for APEC 2015 is building inclusive economies, building a better world. This theme was chosen to orient this year's APEC toward making certain that the sustained growth of our economies will result in tangible benefits on the lives of our people. We are confident that we are, with our country's remarkable turnaround in recent, recent years, our story and our experiences can certainly enrich the discussions on this subject. The objective of this ISOM is to introduce the host priorities for 2015. These priorities are designed to ensure continuity of past and ongoing work, promote balance and relevance to each country to its economy's domestic and regional needs, and ensure sustainability of efforts in achieving short, medium, and long-term goals. We believe that these priorities will help leap towards a sustained, inclusive, and resilient growth in Asia. And we hope to obtain your support in advancing these strategic priorities. In this light, we encourage your active participation in the, in the activities lined up for the next two days. To this end, excellent speakers and notable moderators have been invited to foster dynamic exchanges and social innovative ideas from all of you. In 2015, the Philippines seeks APEC deepen, deepening its role as a cornerstone for regional dialogue, cutting edge innovation, and constructive engagement. We envision dynamic APEC economies that will embrace all sectors and stakeholders 
within, within their people or centered economic agenda. We also envision a progressive region both within and across economies that collectively works together towards our common goals of shared prosperity and inclusive growth for all. The APEC, of course, is not all about work and serious discussions. We believe that this is a great venue to build friendships and encourage camaraderie among individuals who play significant roles in their respective economies. We also encourage you to take advantage of our hosting this year to enjoy what our country has to offer. We hope to bring you to some of our splendid beaches and to show you some of our magnificent vistas during the succeeding meetings. But more importantly, we hope that you witness to our greatest resource, our people who are kind, hospitable, compassionate, and talented beyond measure. 